sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? When will the temple be destroyed? And what is the sign? Notice it's a singular, not a plural. What is the sign of your coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered, Take heed that no one deceive you by any means. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the anointed. I am the Christ. I place a curse on every man and every woman that will stretch his hand against this anointing. I curse that man who dares to speak a word against this ministry. It says only the giver will be protected from the evil tomorrow. Receive that first anointing in Jesus' mighty and awesome name. But give more than one time. Follow you in Jesus' mighty name. Or but give more than one time. In the name of Jesus. Whoa, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Recognize what this Bible is saying. God is trying to put glorious material wealth and blessings into our hands and he's going to do it by way of the anointing. But I've heard people say, it's not about money, it's about peace and it's about joy and it's about love. It's about money. I didn't ride here on Delta, I rode here on my own airplane. You understand what I'm saying? Don't even call me if you want to argue doctrine. Get out of my life. I don't want to even talk to you or hear you. I don't want to see your ugly face. Get out of my face. In Jesus' name. And I said in the name of Jesus. Don't get mad at me. I'm just following Jesus. Money! Come up to me! The Lord Jesus Christ. Anyway. In Jesus' name. By the way, if you are going through a divorce or marriage problem, I'd like to see you sow your first $58 seed for a harvest in your home. In Jesus' name. That's the Holy Spirit today. Father, give me 3,000 miracles for people who will set aside $58 each month for 12 months. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ. Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. I've been divinely picked. I've been Holy Ghost anointed. I've been designated for the assignment. In the name of Jesus. I think that Jesus is the product. In the name of Jesus. When the product is excellent, it doesn't require a big sales pitch. In the name of Jesus. Can you send $100? I'll give you the $550 million, I promise you. Oh. Release it now in Jesus' name. As Jesus was coming on the scene. So, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. And I say it every week, you know, I believe it's a relationship with Jesus. But, you know what, I'm not going to go around telling everybody else. If, if they don't want to believe that, that's going to be their choice. God's got to look at your own heart. God's got to look at your heart. And only God knows that. Jesus Christ is the one. On the Holy God. In the name of Jesus! 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 It's about the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus! shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. He said, why do you keep on calling me Lord and do not do the things that I command you to do? The warning to the church is that the ultimate sign of the end of the ages is not famine and earthquakes and wars and pestilence. The ultimate sign is the multiplication and proliferation of false Christs, false prophets and false teachers who, if it were possible, would deceive even the Church of Jesus Christ.
Now the word deceive in Greek means to mislead. A magician, when he performs in front of you, even with a high-speed camera on him, can move so fast that it's virtually impossible to keep track of what he's doing. He does it by misdirection. You are looking at one thing, so you think, but you're not really seeing what you think you're seeing. It is misdirection. That's the secret of what is called magic, misdirection or deception. Here, Christ said, the false prophets and the false teachers that will arise at the end of the ages will misdirect you. There is a way, said Solomon, that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Full of all subtlety and mischief, child of the devil, enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord?